What's up guys, welcome back. Today we are back working on the 280ZX and putting the puzzle back together after we re-sprayed it. It's so nice seeing this thing back in person now that it's all dry and as you can see it looks freaking amazing and also as you can see I've already started uh, a little bit of work on it. I fitted a flare just to kind of see how it was all going to come out. Oh my god it's going to look so good uh, and as you'll see part of this uh, putting the puzzle back together process is actually also going to be converting the interior to black or painting the interior black or whatever you want to say because it's partly painting partly putting new carpet in uh, as you can see this door card is black but that's not how they came I'll show you quickly so this is what it looked like from factory I've just got them sitting on at the moment and then I've gone ahead off camera because I forgot to film got ahead of myself and we're using Duplicolor vinyl Please focus. There we go. Duplicolor vinyl and fabric spray. First time I've ever used this stuff on our door cards. And it's come up freaking awesome. I've just set it on here once again. Obviously once we have all the clips in it, it'll be sitting nice and flat. But the fabric even came up super nice. The vinyl's all super nice. And then uh, we have our door handle here as well that I've sprayed. Again, before this was that creamy white. Now it's black. I've also sprayed all this stuff matte black and it's all going to come up oh so much better i'm all about that black murdered out interior um so we're going to be doing that along the way i need to pull the seats out I need to pull the scummy carpet out that someone's tried to do but really cut and done super badly and it kind of just sits in there and i hate it so much because we've got our brand new carpet in here that we're going to be fitting from knox knox auto carpets here in uh melbourne these guys have all the templates on hand this cost $280, but I'll talk more about it when we actually fit it to see what the fitment's like. So, yeah, basically we're taking everything in the car. As you can see, a bunch of the bits were, like, not black, and then a bunch of the bits from stock were black, like these bits here. But I want everything to be black so it all matches. And we're even going to do the back seats and all of the trims as well so that everything in the interior is black and just murdered out and super nice. The dash is dark blue. I'm happy enough with that. The dash is in really nice condition. I don't want to touch it. Man, this thing's sick. I freaking love it. I think quickly also, just to make myself happy, I'm going to put the tail lights in the rear and the rear bumper on as well because I want to see what it looks like. You! So as you can see, we've been going super hard. Definitely got ahead of myself. Fitted the rear bar, fitted the front guards properly with the front nose cone, fitted the front balance, um, and ended up stripping completely the interior. Look at that, not bad. And I'm really glad I did, because it's just so crusty under there. We we're only gonna put the carpet in, and we decided to take the whole lot out, which is over here, because we're gonna spray everything black and have it all nice and neat, put back in perfectly and replace anything that needs to be replaced. I ordered a box of like 650 clips from eBay so we can clip everything in properly and just bring this car. Pretty much it's full mini restoration on this thing, so. What do you think, Dan? It's gonna look like my interior. It's gonna look good. Yeah, Dan's got his S13 here. And it looks like super crusty because it's got all different color panels, but he's been rebuilding this whole thing to be like absolutely perfect. So all the stuff that matters, like the interior is all Nice and awesome and new, and under the bonnet is like brand new. Woo, look at this. Everything just looks new. It's amazing, good job. 
Cheers, mate. And now it's here at the factory because we're going to get it all roadworthy and registered and good. And then we're going to spray it all nice and black. And he's also got some wheels that are being built for it at the moment as well. So we're both going to have our cars finished and ready for summer so that we can have mad cruising times and really enjoy them. You. Next up though, we're going to clean all of this, start spraying everything black and fit the carpet. Hey Dan. Hey. What's two minus one? Wait, start again. <laughs> hey Dan, what's three minus one? Two. We're in day two. <laughs> Alright, one more time. <laughs> oh. Hey Dan. Yo. What's three minus one? Two. We're in day two. As you can clearly tell, we're in day two of um, this week's vlog, whatever that means. So, Dan, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to wet sand Mike's car um, and then buff it because Mike somehow trusts me more than him. So, You're such a good friend. Yeah, thanks. Now I can hear you guys at home. You're like, where is Mike? Why is it just Tara and Dan in the workshop today? Well, basically because we're great, but also He's in the pooper, so he'll be back any minute now. Two hours later. <laughs> ha! What are you doing? Oh. So guys, as I said, it's day two and here we are. Mike has finally returned and today we will be... Finishing off doing the interior. Interior is empty, as you can see. And we are about to vacuum the crap out of it. We found a little bit of rust here and there that we're gonna uh, just make sure we take care of. So it's a really good thing we pulled the whole thing apart. And because we did such a good job of the exterior, we thought we might as well. We started kind of pulling little bits apart. We we're gonna replace the carpet. And then we we're like, you know what? Screw it. We're just gonna take the whole freaking lot out so that we can make everything in here brand new again. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff. There's basically a whole car outside the car up front here. We're gonna just spray everything that's not black, black pretty much. Um, so we'll do that. It's a nicer day outside today, not raining at the moment, so that's good. Dan is wet sanding and polishing the car. Wet sanding and polishing the car, which is cool. So because we, obviously we sprayed the car not in a spray booth, you're always going to get small contaminants in, in your clear coat. And also obviously I'm not a professional car sprayer, so uh, wet sanding basically eliminates all of that and makes the car super nice. So we have a buffer here, we've got a cutting compound, we've got Daniel. And because I don't want to do it because I'm lazy, and I don't like that stuff, plus I don't trust myself and Dan's good at it. I'm paying Dan to do it. I don't really trust you either. I don't trust me. But anyway, let's get started first things first. We need to scrub with a brush um, the inside of the interior and then we're going to vacuum it. Just so you guys know, when Mike asked me along today, he did not mention that we would be doing cleaning and scrubbing. <laughs> I just thought I'd Why would that. I mention that? <laughs> It's your favorite vlogger's girlfriend here. Um, I'm just wiping down all of this stuff and then we're gonna um, grease and wax remove all of it because this stuff is um, pretty old. So it's like a bit manky. Um, and then Mike's gonna give it a spray over with this vinyl and fabric spray. Murder. Stuff. Um, black, obviously, because what other color would we do anything? And then while Tara does that, I'm gonna lay down the underlay for our carpet because underlay is awesome because then it stops all the road noises and stuff. Dampens them down, which is great. Is there a body in there? Not yet. Oh, yet. Oh, okay. Keep talking to me. Jesus Christ. Alrighty, Tara's gone, but we are still here working super hard on the 280. Carrying on with this beautiful car. It is freaking very rainy and sh crappy outside, but uh, we've finally got the wet sanding equation down. It's a bit of experimenting in spots, which is very scary on a car that you've freshly painted. But it's something that we really wanted to do because we want this car to look freaking perfect, pretty much. So we're going to watch Dan polish it and see it go from misty to glossy.
I've been doing a couple of things. Resprayed our spoiler and cleared it. We've got our Datsun badge on. I love this thing. It was like 70 bucks on eBay for anyone wondering and it's like the best thing I bought for the car I reckon. So we have this oxidization or bubbling that looks like rust here on these like sunroofs that go on the top for the T-tops but it's not actually rust it's just oxidization so I sanded it back on the side and did a quick test patch and we're going to spray this whole thing back black but um it's going to look rad so obviously that's just a test patch at the moment we'll make it look all super nice and full once it's done so we're going to finish that and another cool wee thing I've started putting the rubber trims back on We'll sort the rubber seals back on. I am gonna find new ones for this, but for now we'll reuse the old ones because they're fine. And one of the cool things I bought was this clip pack off eBay. It's nuts. It's got like 630 clips in it. And you'd rather use brand new clips than the old broken ones. And uh, you can put your whole car back together with them, which is sick because I was missing a bunch of clips. This was 20, 20 Australian dollars. That's crazy. So I've already started putting things back together. We've got the wee black clips in here. I don't have any in it last time I was running it and a bunch of stuff. And all the little things are like this are what makes a car feel tight when you're driving it as opposed to like a, a loose kind of old feeling car. So that's the difference really is having the whole thing put together super nicely. Um, so we're gonna throw it all together. We're just using these wee clips and uh, the clips just push in like I've, like I've done here. And then you get the wee center thing and just push them in to lock them in. You screw that in and then uh, booyah, that's all good to go. So pretty cool. We'll be doing that throughout the whole car, which is sick. But it's like 10 p.m. at night right now. We're both knackered, so we are going to go home and I'll see you guys fresh in the morning while we continue this mission of putting this beautiful car back together. Hopefully by the end of this video, the car's complete. So uh, see you guys in the morning. You! Push! You! <laughs> What's up? Another day, back on the 280. As you can hear, Dan is working away very hard getting this bonnet super nice and glossy. This has been a massive effort so far, wet sanding and polishing the car, but it's coming up really nicely. And we are now starting to put the interior back in. So right now, we're gonna start uh, putting all the stuff that was sprayed black. Thank you, Tara, and uh, everyone else that's helped. We're gonna start putting this stuff back in and start piecing the interior back together. Black is so much better than whatever you call that. You. Let's do it. So, we've got some of the interior in, it's starting to look super nice. Daniel, be quiet. And as you can see, we've laid down the underlay for our brand new carpet. And we're about to chuck a new carpet in. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, the black looks so much better. All the interior's been refreshed. Ah, oh, so good. But now, this is the hard part, so wish us luck. We've got to cut holes in the right place and do a bunch of wee things, so. A noise. Oh my god, look how shiny the car is. I can see the E34 in my car. There it is, right there, the Z34 BMW. Oh wait, but it's a Datsun. Ah, oh, what the hell? Cool, so we are really starting to make uh, tracks with this interior, which is very cool. As you can see, the carpet is now laid. Still a couple of holes to be cut for our seats and stuff to bolt in. But man, how good does that look? 
crazy. Just as soon as I sit the center console in there, it really started to set it off. Black on the blue really does look freaking sick. Super stoked. But of course, I was thinking about it and our blue seats are just not going to cut it. I think that we need to definitely spray them black. So we've got our fabric and vinyl spray. Give it a shake. We're gonna see if we can't turn these seats black. Bit of a risk, but I'm willing to take it. So as you just saw, top of the seat was super manky. This stuff's freaking magic. Just started laying the first coat on the rear seats. I already did this seat uh, last night. And as you can see, freaking looks cool. Come out super nice. So uh, we're just getting the tops of the rear seats done so that we can put them all back in, but very, very happy. Just refresh the whole interior. Obviously finding new stuff is not easy slash impossible for these cars. So sometimes you have to resort to other measures and this stuff is gold. What a day, the BMWs are just outside photosynthesizing, growing as cars in the sunshine. It's nice. And then this nugget here just does nothing. Hey Dan, look Dan's S13 is in here. Last time it was on the hoist, it was a bare shell. Now it's a car that runs, drives. It's all brand new underneath and we're just doing a quick alignment on it. The shop really is getting used now, loving it. Man, so we've been putting in a mountain of work, but the progress is really starting to show now, which is awesome. Here's the interior. Really, really stoked with how it's all come together. Oh, so good. Just completely changes it. That blue manky interior now is, is super nice. The black vinyl spray really works super well. Obviously the black carpet just makes it look really good as well. Um, I'd say, it's about a 7 out of 10 difficulty in terms of install. But that wouldn't really be difficulty, I'd say. It's more just down to attention to detail that you have to have. And the tediousness of kind of fitting it all in, doing the cuts, making sure you don't do too big a cuts, um, cutting all the little holes for the seats and all that stuff like that. Um, you really just got to take your time. So if you do have patience, which is something I lack, but luckily Dan does not, then you would be able to do this job, no worries. Um, Knox Auto Carpets is where I got the uh, carpet from and they have pretty much every model of car. You just go on their website, select the model of car. I was so surprised when they had a 280ZX carpet mold. It's ridiculous, $280 for the underlay and the carpet. This is the plush pile carpet. It even has a nice wee footrest thing down here, which is mad. I'll be running floor mats as well, but just really stoked. Yeah, 280 bucks, you order it. I went and picked it up, but you can also get it shipped to you if you're elsewhere in Australia as well. So. They have all models of cars by the looks of things, which is sick. And now we're at a really cool moment where I can chuck the driver's seat into the car. Yeah, I've got all the trims and stuff on. Everything's just looking really good. Um, that packet of clips has just been an absolute lifesaver. It's ridiculous. Um, I couldn't find the proper clips for like these trims, whereas the clips that came in that packet worked really well. I'm just freaking stoked on all of it. So. Yeah, really coming together super well, and uh, now we're gonna chuck the driver's seat in.
And there you have it guys. The 280ZX is painted and the interior has been refreshed. The car is pretty much a new car now. Still a bunch of little uh, jobs to finish but the main thing is together. Obviously I've still got to do the other side of the interior and stuff. Very, very stoked. That vinyl spray is magic. If you guys want to try it out, I highly rate it. So, Mike Lake approved, I guess. Um, shout out to Dan. Is that, is that high? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty high rating actually. Huge thank you to Dan for all of his help. It's been insane. And thank you to you guys for supporting the channel. All your kind words, it really meant a lot. Uh, and it drives us to keep doing what we are doing, which is awesome. So, uh, thank you guys. Hopefully, in the next video, we can get some work done on the pink thing out there, which is the RX36. Uh, restrictions are holding us back from getting the exhaust built by Damon, but I'm trying to find the loopholes so that we can get through them. So, see where we go, but still got other work we can do on that car anyway. So, uh, that'll probably be in the next video. Also, some E36 comp car stuff, so plenty of stuff coming along. I hope you guys are doing all good during the pandemic. Make sure you hit that like subscribe follow me on instagram at it's mike blake at daniel leone or danielle one depending on how you look at it every and I'll, time every time <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you cheers you yeah, peace